Uh, I'm Clinton from Molo Design in Vancouver, Canada. And uh, can you introduce a little bit about your company? Uh, yes, uh, Molo is a Canadian-based design studio. Uh, we have an active architecture practice, uh, and that's our studio is led by Todd McCallum and Stephanie Forsyth. Um, but much of the focus in the studio is on uh, interior objects and object design. Uh, it's about creating different spaces, being able to change and adapt with the spaces that you need. Um, this is one of our earlier lights that we've designed. Uh, it's called the Urchin Lamp, um, and it's designed and sort of inspired by um, the, the urchin sea creatures as well. So when you go to touch them, they close up on, to protect themselves. So like an urchin, this one can change shape. You can open it up like this to release more light up into the air, uh, and then you can also close it and just expand the base to uh, spread more light out. So from a space like that to something like that. And it's a simple system. It's just like this, with flat side, curved side, um, based on a honeycomb geometry like that, and magnetic panels. And so you can just take it around, put it like so, and there you go. So that's the urchin. And from this product, uh, it led to sort of the design of these light pe pendants. So this is called Cloud, and uh, it's inspired by the clouds as well. Um, and you can get a single pendant to hang over a small table, um, but you can also create cloudscapes. Hang multiple pendants, and you can do it from a single point. So we've designed these mobiles, um, and so the one point have all of these clouds, uh, and with that mobile you get a gentle movement as well. So they're based on the same sort of honeycomb geometry. It's an unwoven synthetic textile we use with high efficiency LEDs. This is one of our new table lamps, uh, or a desk lamp. Uh, it's called capello, which means uh, little hat in Italian. And uh, the base is from a very famous Italian lamp. Uh, it's the uh, Arco lamp by Floss, designed by uh, Achille Castiglioni. So the base of the Arco lamp has a, uh, it's marble, Carrera marble, and there's a hole that's pulled out of it uh, so that you can stick a broom in and move the lamp around. Um, this is the very extract from that base. So we've taken it from the factory, kept it in factory grade. Um, it's sort of an homage to Italian design and Achille Castiglioni. And it's very simple economy of materials. Recycled bamboo uh, paper bowl, uh, modeled after uh, Japanese takeout food. Um, it's just a, an LED in here too, and you can actually remove it. It's done with magnets, like so. And you can take this off, attach it to your refrigerator, attach it to another Capello, attach it to a metal shelf. Um, and with Capello, he's got a bit of personality, so you can move it up or down, tilt it side to side. You can also uh, take this right out, and sometimes I have like a little hole in my desk. I can insert that there and then use this as a paperweight. And then at the end of the day, you can bring it all back together and insert it. So there's no screws, no joints, very simple materials, and just sort of like a nod to, uh, to designers we admire. This is our hobo lantern. Um, it's designed to keep itself uh, like uh, structural integrity. Um, so there's an opposite bottom to the top. Uh, it's made out of an unwoven synthetic Tyvek, the same as the, the lights that we design. Uh, and this one, when you buy it, uh, it comes with a plug-in. So you can hang it beside your coats, um, switch it on and off, or put it beside your shoes as a lamp. Uh, but then when you're ready to go out, you can unplug it, and it runs off a battery, uh, and you can take it out as a lantern. So if you want to go for a picnic at night and there's no moon, you can bring it out with you, hang it from a tree, and then it's your moon. So yeah, this is the hobo bag. And it's about exploring different materials, um, as well as uh, exploring the systems that we can employ with those materials. So we really, um, really have a focus on simplicity and an economy of those materials, and uh, seeing how far we can push them in the uses. Um, like I said, it's an active architecture studio, as well as the object design. Uh, and the object design is very much about uh, the interior spaces that we live in. So. Um, a lot of those spaces, you need to be adaptable. Um, either there's mixed use, like living, working, or there are uh, small spaces. So we want to build things that have uh, multiple uses and can take multiple forms. Like the bag is, uh, it's not only a bag, but it's also a lantern and a light. 
Um, with our soft blocks and soft walls, uh, you can create and change space uh, effortlessly and elegantly with no tools or hardware. Um, with a light like this, you can sort of adjust it to your needs, change it, take it apart, put it on your shelf. So it sort of refuses to occupy just one form, and I think that's a large part of the, uh, the, in the inspiration behind the studio. Okay, thank you. Um, so I, I have a question about, um, so do you focus as a company, focus on design or on sale? Um, it's more so about the design. So what we want to do is um, we want, we're a very exploratory and sort of experimental studio. And we want to explore these different materials and different uses that we can sort of uh, benefit our lives and add a bit of intrigue to them as well. So basically, we do the designs um, and we sell them so that we can just fund uh, our experiments. So keep the studio, um, keep the studio fresh and running, and be able to um, play with these materials. So, okay. So, um, how many countries do you sell to? Uh, we sell in every country. So we sell worldwide. Uh, you can. Uh, we have an online store where you can check out all of the products, uh, videos, pictures, architectural specifications, pricing, and shipping worldwide. So molostore.com. That's where you can check it out at. Okay, thank you, Clint Mr. Clinton. Yes, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you.